Hi guys, let's talk about risks that you should take. And for those of you who don't know, my name's Shaz and I'm the CEO of aceviral.com. It's a mobile games company with over a billion downloads. I have interviewed thousands of people and employed hundreds. And I have also personally invested in over 100 startups worldwide. And I'm here because I love helping people level up. And I want to see you have the best life possible. So let's get into it. So number one, it's the risk of failure. What do I mean by that? Well, if you never risk anything, you will never achieve anything. I have started about 15 businesses in my life. Yeah, and seven or eight of those failed. And four or five of those I closed because they were not making enough for me to achieve my dreams or they didn't look like they're going to get to a point where they're ever going to help me achieve my dreams. So the risk of failure is a risk you have to take. And guess what? No risk, no success. Do an extra business. Do a side hustle. You need to risk that. That will make you level up. Risk your savings. Save enough money so you've always got enough for expenses for three to six months. That will be your rainy day money. Hide that away somewhere, right? And then you'll have some extra money that you invest in the stock market or other investments. We'll talk about that in another video, but you need to have some of that as well before you do any of this risk taking. Then take a small amount and start something after hours, your side hustle. Do not risk all of your money because the first time you're most likely going to fail, but you will be leveling up, learning about products, how to talk to people, taxes, and many, many other things. So you do need to risk some of the money that you have made. Risk your reputation. What do I mean by that? I mean, should it fail, everybody around you is going to be like, that failed, haha, told you, you had such a good salary, and you know, you, you failed now, haha, you've ruined your reputation. You know, especially, if you went to school and you got top grades, then you went to college and you got top grades. And then you went to university and you got top grades. You have never failed in your life. You've been like an Ivy League, top class, you know, person. And then you start a business and it doesn't work. That is a risk you have to take. But guess what? I believe in you and I'm proud of people who take that risk. And I'm proud of you for being here and watching this video. You know, you're watching an educational video and you're trying to level up. That takes guts, time and thought. So I'm proud of you. Risk your comfort zone. You're going to have to do things that you don't feel comfortable with, right? So some people are extroverts and some people are introverts. Some people who are extroverts like me, they might not enjoy sitting down, reading contracts and writing loads of things. But when you start a business, you have to wear many hats and you have to do all of these things. Introverts might not like talking to customers, but you have to do that. So you're risking your comfort zone. And you know what? It will make you a better person. Risk being different. You know, if you want to be financially free, have you heard of the top 1%? Do you think the 1% do what the other 99% do? They don't. You know why? It's because they're different. You have to be different from 99% of people. If they want to watch Netflix after work, you don't, you hustle, you start something, you learn something, yeah? If they want to not exercise and just sit there as a couch potato, you don't, you go and exercise. You know, have you heard that old adage, show me your friends and I'll show you the man? Well, you know, if you've got four friends who are couch potatoes, you're the fifth one. And if you've got four friends who are businessmen or entrepreneurs, guess what? You're an entrepreneur, so risk being different. Be like the 1%. Risk being lonely, yet all your friends, if they're not interested in starting a business or having a better life, they're going to say to you, ah, well, you know what? You go and do this in your spare time. We're not interested, we're getting, you know, uh, we're getting high, we're getting drunk, uh, we're going to watch uh, 20 movies in a row in the holidays. But guess what? 
be different, take the risk, and you know, just plow forward. And you know what, guys, while I'm here, let me tell you something. Smash that like button. You see that like button there? Smash it, because then you're helping me. The Google algorithm loves people who smash that button. It means more people can see my video. Right, I'll get back to my point. A risk you're going to have to take is the risk of trusting people. Yeah, it's really hard, but you're going to have to risk trusting other people with your work. And you know, when I started my business at first, I had hired an employee and he was my number one employee and he's still here many, many, many years later. But it was a big risk. I was like, will he be able to do that as well as I can? Will he, you know, do it the way I want? But let me tell you this, guys. You know what? The business was my baby and he'll never do it the way I want. So if I do it 100%, but if this guy or your first employee can do it to about 80 to 85% of what you can, what you did, it's your baby. It's not their business. It's your business, yeah? So nobody's going to do it like you do it. But if you give somebody a job and they can do tasks 85% of the way you did them, that's it. That frees you up to go and do another task. So definitely hire people and take the risk of hiring people. And you know what? You risk being let down. That is a big risk. Yes, I have been let down because I have hired hundreds of people, but that's all part of growing. So don't shy away from that. Do risk being let down. And without risking employing people and taking the risk of being let down, you'll never expand. You know what? Imagine you're running a business and there's only so many hours in the day. Even if you wanted to work 24 hours a day and you didn't sleep and you were a robot, you can't get everything done or you can't get as much done as 10 employees. And if they only did like, you know, 10 hours a day, they do 100 hours and you cannot do 100 hours in a day because there's only 24 hours in a day. So you have to take the risk of hiring and trusting people. Don't be afraid because you know what I've noticed a lot of people have never leveled up or expanded their business because they're afraid of people not being able to do it like they can or thinking you know what he'll steal my product when I'm not there he'll do this he'll do that and you know what to be honest I have experienced that in my life you know when I started something new I would think right you know what I don't want to tell people about it just yet but guess what? You overcome that fear. It's natural. And you know what? Even Bill Gates and Elon Musk will have experienced this. It's human nature to be afraid sometimes and to think negatively. You're not going to be thinking positively all the time. We try, but it's human nature. Just get on with it. Be happy. You're going to be risking your free time. Yep. So if you've got a job from nine to five, and you want to start a business, you will be doing it after those hours. You know how I always break it down. There's 16 hours that you're most likely awake, right? You're at work for eight of those and another hour for traveling and another one for, you know, doing whatever needs doing, shower, food, etc. You've still got about six hours left, right? Say we take another one out for food and another one out for other things. Yeah, you still got four hours a day and I'm not counting weekends here. So now you need, you've got four hours that you can do something in. So you will be risking your time. And when you start a business, that's the way it is. You risk your time, you risk uh, your friends, you risk everything. So risking your time is a major one because what ends up happening is entrepreneurs end up thinking about their business 24 hours a day. Do you know that? You know, when people ask me, Shaz, are you at work on weekends? I'm not, but I am thinking about it. And that's because I love what I do. You know, it just becomes a kind of an obsession. The guys that work for you become a family. You know, I don't usually say this, but some of the guys in Ace Survival will know this, that I have been offered lots of money for people to buy out Ace Survival. And guess what? I have done something that most entrepreneurs or most people wouldn't do. I didn't sell, not because the money wasn't enough. I didn't sell because the guys felt like my family. They felt like, you know what, if I sell this business and I walk away from here with loads of money, 
are they going to keep these guys on or are they going to sack them i would love to mention names but i'm not going to because you know my employees will watch this but that's one of the reasons i have not sold this business number 10 you're risking yourself so if you make a product and you end up being associated with that product and it fails then you are at risk of you know being branded a failure you know what there's no way around it as long as you're giving it your all and as long as you do not con anybody or do not misguide people uh you know and you're telling the truth then people are going to be proud of you you started something you had the guts to start something and it didn't work out you know what i take a risk on you next time and you know when i say that you know people that have started something and failed i'd rather invest in those guys than somebody who's doing it for the first time and you know what i'd rather invest in somebody who's started something failed three times than invest in somebody who's only failed the once unless i you know talk to them and they're doing something really silly so risk yourself and keep on risking yourself it'll just make you a better person a better human being it'll make you resilient right thank you for watching hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the videos and you know what i believe in you yeah i sincere sincerely believe in you you're here watching these videos have a good day